Heavenly Father, we love you, and we ask you to please help in every aspect of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, our next equation is this here. Let's go ahead and count our atoms. We have two nitrogens on this side. One times two is two. Let's uh, multiply it out. Coefficient of one times two equals two. No number list, it stands for one. One times two is two. This one here, one times two is two. This one here, nitrogen. One times two is two. One times five equals five. <clears throat> so, with this one, it's actually a very interesting one. We're looking at finding the lowest common multiple. So, what is the lowest common multiple between two and five would be 10. So, we would have to multiply two times five to get 10, or five times two equals 10. All right, this one here. Our nitrogens are just fine. We are, they're balanced, but not for long. We're gonna change the, uh, this one over here soon. So, you can see here, our oxygens, we have two on the reactant side and five on this side. So in order to be able to go ahead and get to the lowest common multiple, remember what, what I said, two times five is 10, lowest common multiple is 10. So, what times five equals 10? Here's our five. We have to put our coefficient to two up here. So that changes some things for us. Now we have two times two is four for our nitrogens. There's our four. But now it's two times five is 10. But now we have 10 on this side, so we have to change this side also. So what times two will give us 10? Two times five is 10. So our coefficient, five times two, five times two equals 10. Oh, well, our nitrogens are balanced with 10 on each side. So what are we gonna do? Nitrogen, our oxygen are balanced with 10, I should say. Pardon me. Oxygen are balanced with 10 on each side. Now our nitrogens, we have to get balanced. We have four on this side, we have to get four on this side. So how are we gonna get four on this side? We're gonna go ahead and change. Two times two is four. Now we have a balanced equation. Two times two, four. Five times two, 10. Two times two, four. Two times five is 10. Balanced equation, yay. Our next one. Na, one times one is one. Oxygens, one times two is two. Remember, oxygen, well, coefficient times the subscript. Coefficient of one times two equals two. Coefficient of one, it's not written, it stands for one. One times two is two. And then what we got is one times two over here equals two again. So, we have two oxygens, we have Two NAs on the product side, only one over here. So in order to do this, we have to put a coefficient of two here. And yay, done, I believe. Two times one equals two. So two NAs, two oxygens, balanced equation. Please keep in mind that this two Keeps on operating up until the plus sign, and then it stops. So it's two NAs. All right, next problem. So, hi students. So what we're looking at here is we have one magnesium on both sides, 
one hydrogen on the reactant side and two on the product side. We have one chlorine on the reactant side and two chlorines on the product side. So let's go ahead and address the chlorines first. We have one over here. We only have and we have two over here. So we have to get two chlorines on this side of the pro, of the pro, of the equation. So remember, you have to change the coefficient. But remember what happens. You do not change a sub, uh, subscript. But bad things happen when you change a subscript. So I'm going to change the subscript. No! 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 Are you saying I can't change a subscript, huh? No! Okay. All no! Right. All right, so I'm going to change the coefficient here. And so now we have two hydrogens on this side and two chlorines on this side. So now we have a balanced equation. Thank you. Thank you, family. Yay! Yay. Buster got in there at the end, too. Well done. All right, for this problem here, it might look a little bit daunting, but it really is not. You just have to work through the process. You have here this formula, uh, this chemical equation here. Al is 1 times 1, so let's write that out. 1 times 1, because there's a coefficient of 1 here and a subscript of 1 here, equals 1. Oxygens is a coefficient of 1 times subscript of 1 times the subscript of the subscript. is going to be a, four, a total of three. So it's one times one times three equals three. One times one times three. Hydrogens, coefficient of one up here, times one times three. So I'm going to erase this part here first. One times one times three equals, oh, plus, we have another hydrogen over here, plus one times one. So one times one times three is three, plus one times one equals four. So I just do my totals here. This is three plus one equals four. So, means, oops, coefficient of one times the subscript of one. One times one equals one. Now let's do the product side. So hopefully you can see the bromines there. All right, so now what we're, let's do the product side. One times one for aluminum equals one. Oxygens is one times one for one. Hydrogens, one times two for two. And bromines is one times three for three. Now, I'll, I'll say this, typically, this is just a general guideline, not even a rule. You wanna balance your oxygens and hydrogens last. Hydrogens very last, and typically oxygens second to last. Doesn't always work out that way, uh, but in this case, it really does apply. So, we're gonna take a look at the ones that are not balanced. Aluminums are balanced. We're gonna forget about our oxygens and hydrogens for right now. Bromines are not balanced. We have three on this side, on the product side, and only one over on the reacted side over here. So what we have to do is we have to change the coefficient for this one here to a three, for HBr to a three. That changes this part over here. So now it's three times one. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and write down three there. Equals a total of six. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna write down three times one, and this is three here. So that equals a total of six uh, for hydrogens. Now our bromines are three times one, three times one, equals a total of three. Bromines are balanced. Alumina are balanced. Now, remember when I told you that hydrogen you want to balance last. Well, in this case, we kind of just, that's why I call it a guideline. It's going to be easier for us to balance this number here first, our hydrogens first. 
So, we're going to go ahead, hydrogens we have two on this side, on the product side. So what do we have to multiply two by in order to get six? So we have to put a three, so it's three times two, three times two equals six for that one, and our oxygens are three times one. I believe we have a balanced equation now. So what we're looking at is aluminums have one on the reactant side and the product side. Oxygens have three on the reactant and the product side. Hydrogens have six on the reactant and the product side. And bromines have three on the reactant side and bromines have three on the product side. Therefore, a balanced equation. K equals one because one times one equals one. I'm going to stop writing down all the parentheses stuff. Uh, uh, coefficient on subscript. Coefficient of one for bromine equals one times two equals two. Oxygen is one times three equals three. K equals one times two equals two. B equals one times one equals one. And oxygens, one times one equals one. Let's balance it. Let's see here, we got two Ks on this side. I don't have to change this, I kind of look upon these as like a, a, a variable. I can go ahead and make this anything I want later on, so I, I'm gonna leave the K until last. Uh, B is tied up with something over here, but I have a B over here that's all by itself. So I'm gonna leave that one to last. Oxygens, I have three on this side, one on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and put three, uh, three over here. Remember when I told you about the guideline? Uh, you know, when you want to balance your hydrogens and oxygens last? Well, this is one of the times where that doesn't apply. Because we have a B out here by itself. I can make that any number that I want later on. Whether it be odd or even number. And the same thing with K for potassium. So, we're going to go ahead. Uh, now we have three times two for K, which equals six. Coefficient of three times the subscript of two equals six. Um, oxygen, three times one equals three. Let's go ahead and put that there. Now, let me see here. K's aren't balanced. Is it really that easy? All that I have to do is put a six for here for the K. Yes, it is. Six here, that changes this number to a six. And then bromines, we need two on the other side there. Score. All right. Two times one is two for bromines. Balanced equation. Yay. Next one.